You've got it tuned to KEXP. We're listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us online around the world at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters. Very excited to have Margaret Glassby live on air today. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I had the great privilege to see you at the Neptune not too long ago. Tonight you'll be at the Sunset Tavern here totally. in Seattle. Thank Recommend people come out. Yeah, thank you so much. What are you going to play for us first? We're going to play the title track of the records. It's called Emotions and Math. Fantastic. It's Margaret Glassby live on KEXP. Oh, when I got you by my side, oh, everything's all right. It's just when you're gone, I start to snooze the alarm. Cause I stay up until four in the morning. Shivering in an ice cold bath of emotions and math. Oh, it's a shame and I'm to blame. Cause we are all right. Until we go and I start losing control. Margaret Glassby live on KEXP, the new album, Emotions and Math. Oh, tonight I'm a little too turned on to talk about us. And tomorrow I'll be too turned off and won't give a fuck about you and I.
We're live in the KEXP studios with Margaret Glassby. Tonight she's playing at the Sunset Tavern and love hearing these new songs from your record, Emotions in Math. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's great to have all three of you here today and the new record out on ATO. And Margaret, I know that you live in New York and spent some time in Boston, but you're from... Red Bluff, California? Red Bluff, California. That's that does right. not seem like a big city. <laughs> it's pretty small. It's pretty small. <laughs> how was your life there growing up, and what role did music play, and how did you make your way to the East Coast? Yeah, um, I suppose I was playing a lot of music at a young age. My All my family is super musical. Um, everybody, no one's tone deaf. Everyone can sing really well and plays guitar. There's always been a lot of guitars around the house. Um so I think it was pretty natural for me to be really interested in music because all my family was. And then kind of when I got into school, I was really fortunate to have some really good school programs, uh, fiddle program in my elementary school. So I started playing the fiddle at a young age and then um, kind of, yeah, it just started to evolve for me where I just got more and more into it and kind of was, you know, there wasn't a, a massive amount of arts in the town that I was uh, grew up in in Red Bluff, but there was um, the programs that they had were really solid and real cool enough to kind of like propel me forward, which is awesome. There's a cool little story that I keep reading about about your time at the Berkeley School of Music. I don't know if it's just turned into this <laughs> tale yeah. that's grown, but you went there for a semester, and when you ran out of funds, you just kind of used your ID to go yeah. to classes and I kinda, meet with professors. Yeah, totally. I mean, it was kind of. It's more organic than it sounds. It sounds like I was pretty devilish and sneaking in and stealing or something. But And I guess I kind of was sometimes. But for the most part, it was just, you know, I had a lot of really good friends there and made friends with some amazing professors there, too. And it was as easy as just kind of, you know, knocking on a door and listening to what they were talking about. And um, so I guess it was technically sneaking into classes. But uh, it was pretty natural at the time. I got some of my kind of most inspiring moments were certainly kind of moving to Boston and being swimming around in like a sea of music and musicians that were all trying to do the same thing that I was doing. That was pretty inspiring. So it was a cool time for sure. Well, it sounds like you had a lot of ingenuity and certainly a lot of passion. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was that, hungry for it. <laughs> that passion put you to work on this new record. I know you had an EP out about four years ago. Quite a bit of time has elapsed, but you sounds like you've been super hard at work writing the songs for this record. I sounds like you recorded it a number of times. Yeah, totally. T tell me about the making of Emotions and Math. Yeah, so I, I recorded the whole record on an iPad, all the demos for it first in my room. And some of the songs are a little older. They, they dated back to like six or seven years ago, a couple of them. I just knew that I wanted to put them on a real record, so I kind of held on to them for a long time. And then um, once I was kind of, once I was in New York City and I had finished that EP in, in the time in between then and now, I've written a bunch of music and that ended up on the record and the, uh, the iPad demos came and then after that um, my boyfriend and I went and got some recording equipment and started to record everything out of my house and so right when I was kind of ending that ATO Records got in touch with me and said do you want to make a record? <laughs> so I made it again <laughs> and that was, um, it was kind of cool because I think by default it just became a really cool very intense kind of production process. Now that I look back on it, I had so much time in order to produce the record and very slowly and kind of really pick and choose what I wanted, my, what my preferences were production wise and um, in making it, it just felt really natural and, um, and was very kind of concise. It was a really short time period. We made the record in about three days. Um, and yeah, just kind of like spit it out because it was very ready to, to happen. <laughs> In all the re interviews that I've read with you, um, it talks about how much you labored over the song. You kind of made writing a almost a nine to five job. And then I read somewhere where you said when you finish the songs and play them for people and put out the record that you just kind of release them and they're not yours anymore. Yeah. And I'm curious if that's true and if that's just a freeing thing. You said something about clearing space then to write new songs. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. feels like it was really cathartic to release a record and... I I do feel like um, a lot of time I don't talk about song meanings because I feel like it's just everyone's now. It's not mine anymore. <laughs> like they mean something to me, but to everyone else now, it's just, it's like, a, yeah, it's out in the world and I'm happy about it so I can make new things and be, you know, get the juices flowing again. Well, there's a lot to delve into in the album. It's called Emotions and Math. Margaret Glassby is live in studio here at KEXP tonight at the Sunset Tavern. And you got a couple more songs? 
yeah, we're going to play uh, this next song is called No Matter Who. And um, yeah, we'll play that one for you now. All right. Margaret Glassby, live on KEXP. Margaret, can you introduce us to your band before you play your last song? Yeah, totally. This guy over here is Chris Morrissey on the bass. And this is Tim Cool on the drums. It's wonderful to have all three of you here today. Tonight they play at the Sunset Tavern here in Seattle. Margaret Glassby, the new album on ATO Records called Emotions and Math.
sounded great. Wow. Margaret Glassby live on KEXP. Thank you all so much for coming in today. Thanks for having us. It's a total honor. <laughs> what a voice. Thank you. <laughs> Playing tonight at the sunset, Margaret Glassby live here in the KEXP studios in Seattle. Discover new music at kexp.org.